All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the session. My name is Elma, and I'm the moderator today. Let me introduce the topic of our discussion. Uh, it's about manner. So there are four speakers that will help us broaden our insights today. They are Ananda Rizky, Adiliawan, Haira, and Raihan. For the panelists, you can say hi. 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 <laughs> All right, thank you for the panelists. Next, I will read the procedure of the panel discussion. First, I will ask the panelists a question about manner and the panelists are allowed to convey their opinion. Perhaps the other panelists have the same or the different idea. Therefore, other panelists are allowed to say whether they agree or disagree with the argument. Now, let's start our discussion. All right, the first question will be, do you think people are more polite or less polite now than in the past? Maybe, Haira, you can share your thoughts about this question. Oh, yeah. Um, I would say that uh, people are less polite now. And as the enchantment of technology, people have um, less concern with politeness. Like uh, when they gather with their family or friends, they'll just focus on their smartphones, right? And maybe me and some of us still not conscious with this sometimes. Yes, I agree with you. Any thoughts about this question? Same with Kaira. I think that people in the past had better manners than today's people, especially Japanese people. Because Japanese people have long been known for their good manners. And I don't know about other place or region because the culture and manners in other region may be different from Japanese people. All right, thank you for your opinion, guys. Let's move on to the next question, I think. Uh, can you think of some examples of how manners have changed in your country? For the first one, Raihan, can you share your thoughts about this? Uh, so, all right, yeah, for me, uh, there are two examples of how manners have changed. It's especially for teenagers like us. Yeah, the first is change in manner in speaking. Yeah, right now, there are many children who dare to yell and say rude words to their parents, teachers, and other people. Now, this is not only taught by children or teenagers, but also among artists, intellectuals, and their men uh, currently insulting each other. So, yeah, there are many examples from artists which uh, uh, explain how bad their manners in speaking. Then the second is manners in attitude. Yeah, many children's attitude and teenagers' attitude towards parents first reflect the loss of manners. When the parent is talking, the child or teenager interrupts. When the parents sit below, the children or we sit on top. Then when the child often throws something when giving it to the parents. And this also applies to children or teenagers towards the teachers. Okay, thank you very much. Any thoughts from the others? Uh, yes, well, I believe that the manners of people in that country are actually the representation of the quality of that country itself. And I think the most important manners that people in this country should have is shy. Let's take an example of Japan. They have this shy kind of manners that when they do something bad or rude to society, the society itself will judge them as a useless person or even consider them as a trash. And as we all can see right now, the result is Japan is up there in the world for its economy or its technology, pop culture. Like who, who the hell is in, the, in this universe that's no enemy, right? Uh, so yeah, the feeling of having that shy manners will control our society. So I believe that shy will change this country somehow. Okay, thank you, shyness. Another thoughts from the others? Mm, in society, 
there are many changes in manners that occurred in the past, especially for Japanese people, because in Java, there are many rules about manners. Uh, as in everyday life, manners toward parents is highly respected, like when we were walking in the front of older people, we would bow and using polite language to older people, kissing hands when shaking hands with older people, or greeting, greeting people in the street. But I think that is rarely in our society now. Okay, thank you very much, Ananda. Uh, Haira, do you want to give another opinion about this question? Um, yeah, um, uh, same like uh, Ananda. Uh, back then, people have big respect to elders, like, yeah, especially in Japanese, in, in Java, I mean, yeah. They talk with honorific language to elders, but now I think just only two uh, of seven, of two of 10 teenagers know how to speak uh, their own local honorific language properly. And like what uh, Ananda has mentioned, we also bow when we walk in front of elders before, but, but now as we can see, it's hard to find uh, people who still do that, right? Like, yeah, they have no concern about this anymore. Okay, I got it. Thank you very much, Haira and the others. Uh, I think some of you, uh, most of you mentioned about Japanese. All right, let's move on to the next question, I think. Uh, how important is it, according to you, to be polite to older people, even though they are often rude? For the first one, Adilia, when can you say your thoughts about this? Yeah, well, it actually depends on how old that person is. If the older person's age is like 15 or 16 or even more, it I will still be polite because I know that be, uh, because of their you know, aging process, their ability to inhibit thoughts and action that normally control their behavior is slowly decreased. So it's kind of a reverse psychology that when you're getting old, you're actually going to behave as your child. So yeah, we need to still be polite to the older people because of that reason. All right, thank you very much. Uh, another thought from the others? Well, for me, being polite to parents is no longer important or not, but it is something that we as a child must do. Yeah, because no matter how uh, our parents are, uh, they are still uh, giving their service for us. And yeah, and our beliefs uh, teach that every child uh, has to be respected to their parents, even though they are becoming rude to us. All right, thank you very much for both of you. The next question will be, what is something that isn't considered rude, but should be? Can you give an example about this? For the first one, I think Kaira, can you? Give your thoughts. Um, yeah, uh, I thought about a simple action like uh, talking with high notes, uh, especially with older people. Uh, for me, it's uh, very rude and impolite, but there are just few people who still pay attention about this these things. Yeah, we can see this in our society. Any thoughts from the others? Uh, well, uh, I found that this kind of rude things that uh, we actually experience it like these days. And uh, that thing is ghosting. Like ghosting is when, you know, you approach someone that you want to know more about them, but they tend to be, you know, getting a distance from you because, I don't know, maybe you, they don't like you because of some kind of reason. But uh, when they're leaving, they're not, you know, actually get give you that, uh, give you that reason why they're leaving you. So yeah, I consider it as very rude to me, 
And furthermore, this thing is really easily happen to stay when you're not actually meet that person. So yeah, that's I consider it as very good. Yes, thank you for that interesting examples. Okay, I think this is the last one. This is the last question for today's discussion. What do you think? When someone is rude in a public place, do you say something or try to ignore that person? Ananda, can you give your thoughts? I think when someone is being rude in public, I will try to rebuke them coldly without humiliating that person in public. Because if we humiliating that person, they will get angry at us and maybe they will do something even more disrespectful. Thank you very much. Uh, any others? All right. Yeah, for me, we must look uh, and understanding the context first. Yeah, because we can't just interfere in people's business. Uh, I mean, if it involves someone's safety, then we I know for table have to act. Of course, we are always action. But yeah, there's for example, uh, reporting to the authorities or some other community leaders. It's like that. All right. Thank you very much. I think that's the last question. Uh, we've heard the answer for each question this day. In other words, we are at the end of this session. But before closing this discussion, allow me to read the summary of this discussion. For the first question that is about uh, the politeness level in our country these days, uh, most of them say that we are less polite. And for the examples of how manners have changed in, your, in our country, it's about uh, manner of speaking, attitude, shyness, attitude to parents, and so on. And also the third one is how important is it to be polite to older, older people? Two of the panelists uh, agree that they should be polite to elder people even though they are often rude. The fourth one is what is something that isn't considered rude but should be? Haira say that, say that it's about high note to parents and also ghosting from Adiliawan. The last one is when someone is rude in a public place, uh, do you say something or try to ignore that person? Ananda and Raihan, uh, Ananda say that uh, she uh, ignore that person and Raihan should act to that person. All right, uh, I think that's all from us. Uh, I would like to thank to the panelists for sh uh, for sharing their thoughts today. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, okay, I think that's all. Uh, goodbye and see you next time. Bye. Bye.